We serve about 2,000 children and adults with intellectual and developmental disabilities every year in the western suburbs of Chicago. We serve babies through seniors that um, are looking for services that will support them to become more independent and overall enhance the quality of their life. Our work entails supporting people to become gainfully employed. Every year we support about 150 men and women to find jobs that happen to have disabilities that just need a little bit of extra help. We have 40 program locations around um, the DuPage County area. Those locations include places where people live, everything from single family homes to people living in their own apartment, to a campus that has six homes that is um, for people who have more intensive medical support needs while still having developmental disabilities. Companies, we need them to partner with us for fundraising. We do a lot of fundraising um, by way of our Butterfly Ball, First Look for Charity, golf outings, as well as our Monarch Walk. Um, so anytime that we can partner with a company to help us to sponsor an event, we love having that support. It's so important and, and we just can't, you know, as a nonprofit, particularly today in the economic times that we're in, having those partnerships and relationships is even more um, what we need. I support everyone having a living wage. I don't not support the minimum wage increasing, but we're really in a catch-22 situation. Um, as a nonprofit organization that cannot renegotiate our rates with the state of Illinois, we have to focus on this as another unfunded mandate, and that's so not uncommon in the work that we do. There's absolutely no trigger that if the minimum wage were to increase, that something would happen that we would be able to get an increase in our rates to pass that along to our team members. We already in our industry struggle with a very, very high turnover rate of our direct support professionals. So I am I'm frightened to, to see what's going to happen if we're going to be able to attract a qualified workforce and if we're going to be able to keep up.